All right, here we go. All right, now hold on, wait, take me off the screen. Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon. The stories of our lives, the things that shape our future, the people who have made the jokes that we tell at parties possible, these are the things that we want to ask them, what were you thinking? I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined, as always, by my inimitable co-host, H. Willie Hobo, Brett Ranchseville, Am Treckelson, the fifth. How are you, H? <laughs> I'm doing great, Brian. Uh, we have a very special guest today. We have a one Michael Schadenfreudenfelder. Maybe you've heard of him. He was uh, responsible for 2006 $50 million round for Monitor Fire. Uh, now, Monitor Fire sounds like, uh, well, a social disease that a monitor might catch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clever one, Mr. Brushwood. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> No, no, actually, it's for a business that raised $50 million in 2006. Right, and I assume that he went on to have a groundbreaking new program by which he made possible cheaper, more effective, brighter monitors that became successful all over the planet, yes? Well, not quite, but maybe he's the one to tell this story. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm... Uh, were, were you, what, what were you thinking? Well, what, welcome. Well, what welcome? Oh. A warm well, what welcome to Mike Schauderfrozen <laughs> Felder. Felder. Hi, Brian. Mike. Brian, Fred, how are you doing? Good, Mike. How are you? I'm fine. You uh, <laughs> you you um, you're calling us from your bed, are you? I I've really done much. I just kind of lay in my bed. Why don't, why don't you tell us the story of Monitor Fire? How did you get started back in 2006? $50 million, that's a pretty big round for an untested, unproven product. Um, I had an idea of when I was in college. I was like, hey, <laughs> where does everybody get monitors from? So I figured I'd... I knew a guy who was like, "Hey, I'll make your monitors." <laughs> so I said, "I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna sell these monitors to people." And then, when they got to the places, they exploded. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounded, Mike, uh, like like you said you wanted the monitors to explode on on delivery. Well, I mean, not all of them, but I figured, you know, some of them would be like a publicity stunt. No, publicity is bad publicity, wait, so, right? So you did want some of the monitors to explode on delivery? Well, no, we wanted all of our monitors to explode with savings <laughs> and value, and they didn't all explode. You didn't explode, did you, Bessie? No, you didn't. Uh, You're here for daddy. Does that make Betsy a failure then? Uh, no. You, who are you? <laughs> Call Betsy a failure. You're a failure! I think, Mike, before we get too far off topic, we do have one very important question for you. What, what were, were you, you thinking? thinking? Fires that comes out of monitors were a metaphor? For fire, <laughs> I, Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. A metaphor can't be a metaphor for itself. No, well, as long as it doesn't say like or as, because that's it's. I always got mixed up. Like or as is a simile. I think right. he's using it right because he didn't well, say no, like no, or no, as. No, but uh, but he's saying the object is its own metaphor. Uh. No. Fire is a metaphor for fire? Yes. No, because he didn't say like or as. I don't understand the question. I thought a metaphor, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't it have to lie? I, I thought that used to be it, but then Ozzy Osbourne rhymed masses with masses, and then it was like, okay, well, if that's a rhyme, the metaphor can be the thing. You may be right. We need to get Ozzy on the show. <laughs> and ask him, what, was he what were you thinking? <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, what are you up to today? Sleeping. <laughs> Do you have any big new projects coming up? Um, 
in the next 15 minutes, I'm probably going to pee in a cup I have by the bed. <laughs> and then after that, I might go to sleep. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of What Were You Thinking? Join us next week when our special guest will be none other than... <laughs> I'm blanking. What's Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we'll see you next week and ask you, what were you thinking? I think that could actually make a very fascinating show. <laughs> <laughs> There's the explosion. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, the monitor exploded. Clever, Chad. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, oh, man.